you will need to start with some clear plastic tubing and then that will need to be filled up with water to make your water level so let's go ahead and get a garden hose going here and simply insert the tubing into the hose or wrap the wrap your hand around it somehow to get the water pumping in there and you will see all of the air bubbles flowing through there plenty of air bubbles we do not want air bubbles in our water level so after you get a little bit of water in the bucket wouldn't be a bad idea to submerge it into the bucket uh, yeah it wouldn't be you can grab both ends there you can see water coming out but you're gonna you're going to want to submerge the hose and the tubing in the water uh, to make sure that no air is getting in. Sometimes if you just hold it together, you're going to get air sucked in there. But if you put it under the water, good chance no air is going to get in there. I'm looking for the other end of the tube right now to show you. There we go. Plenty of water. No air bubbles coming out of there. Now we can get started with our temporary uh, setup there. If you pull out one end of the tubing, the water is going to just continue to leak back into the bucket. So stick that back in there to get the water back in it and then grab both ends together and try and keep them even or level, however we look at it there. And then we will attach it to whatever we are going to level. And in this case, it is just going to be our temporary setup. So I have it tied on with a string. I'm going to make a mark where the water is uh, even, or you can see it right there in the tubing. And then I'm going to mark the other side. You can see it really get a good view of it right there where the water is. And this would be level. And when I say level, I would imagine water is level, you have to imagine. If we go around the planet Earth, it's not going to be as level as it would be just a few feet away like we're working on here. But all you need to do now is simply measure. You can see there we're about an inch and three eighths. And again, I don't know how flat this board is. It uh, looks like a rough saw and piece of lumber. I should have used a smooth one. There were a little bit over an inch and a half, uh, just in between an inch and a half and an uh, inch and three eighths. But if you're going to level a floor, simply measure down. And you can see here we're about 32 and three quarters, just a little bit under 32 and three quarters. Measure the other side. There's the star of our show, a little uh, hoodlum that came in the neighborhood. And then uh, you can see here we're a little bit under 32 and 3 quarters also. So this is even Steven. If we look at this right here, we are right on the money. And that is how a water level works. Now, what if I measured it and it was off a little bit? Um, let's say that the measurement on the right was 30 inches and the measurement on the left was 31 inches. This would represent a sloping direction towards the larger number. The 31 inch number would represent something deeper. And the, so the bigger number would represent something lower. The smaller number would represent something higher according to the way I'm measuring it. If you change directions and you measure up, then you will have to reverse those numbers. But uh, for down, uh, if you're measuring down like this, then that should work out just fine. So anyway, that's it for this video. You have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment area or email them to us. I did make another video. The reason why I made this video was because I made another video someone requested to figure out how in the heck they could level their house or see if it was out of level and a water level would be perfect for that, cheap and inexpensive. I will put a link here at the end um, and I highly recommend that you watch that video also.